Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is another episode of Foundations and I'm very excited to try this product. So the name of it is Shiseido and is Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing, Self-Refreshing Foundation. This is a sample and I've been going through all the samples that I have received, trying different uh, foundations, and this one is medium coverage, so it's more up my alley. I've been trying full cover foundations, and so today is a medium buildable coverage, which is beeping. So if you're interested on watching about this product, the application, and my first uh, impression review, please keep on watching. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell in the right hand corner, which tells you when I upload new videos. Okay, great. So, Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. It has SPF 30, which is great. I love when the foundation has the SPF because I don't like wearing the SPF on, on itself. And yes, 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 we can go about how much is needed and how much everybody uses it every day. I'm, mm, but it, when it comes in the tint or with the foundation oh that is a big yes all right so this is self-refreshing non-stop for 24 hours just apply look and flawless finish as you said first in foundation with active force technology synchronizes with skin actively resists heat humidity and motion wow big claims here it's a natural finish so it has 30 colors i'm not sure if this color will be mine uh it is 220 linen this came with four colors um 310 is silk 430 cedar 540 mahogany so linen sounds about right for me uh let me look here is one two three four five six seven eight is the eighth so it's not one of the most fair but it's good because i'm usually a light uh, skin color so this is number eight maybe it'll be dark who knows let me just apply a little here and a little in my hand so you can see it up close it seems a tiny bit pinker than my skin but good enough so we're gonna try it so I probably, if they had a little bit more yellowish tone, that would be mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit on this side only with my brush, which is my preferred method. And then I did have a wet sponge this time because <laughs> last time I was like, I wish I had a wet sponge right here with me and I didn't. So this time, I better prepare. Okay, so I must, so far, it's applying very nicely, I have to say. Now, Jaicido is a great, great skin, um, a skincare company. I think they're from Japan or Korea, uh, but I like their products, and I think I tried them a lot when I was younger, but I think this company is more for an older crowd, which now it applies to me. So I should be trying a lot more products from them. I do own their eye moisturizer and it is very lovely. I think I've talked about it in some videos. All right, well, so far I put a very light sort of, I like this. What do you guys think? So this is without. And this is with. And so um, what I think it's doing is really just kind of um, making my skin one color. You see I have here the color stains and a little darker. So this is really becoming um, a more natural looks, unifying the color of my skin, but not completely covering where you can't see my skin. So it looks very, very natural and better. Look at this. I mean, you barely see that you have anything on, barely. However, you do see the smoothing and the um, 
making it one consistent color throughout. Oh, this is very lovely. I'm liking this already. Now, how is it doing with wrinkles? Very, very nice. So it is smoothing. It is becoming radiant. Oh my God, yeah. I'm really now curious how this one compares to the Dior Forever um, that I like so much because it is that natural. Wow, and it is long lasting, 24. That would be a good comparison. I'll see if I have enough sample product that I can do a comparison next time. So, because this is the first time I'm gonna wear it, I wanna try it out, etc. So one quick question before I apply the other one with the sponge. I put this new light in the bottom because I keep seeing a line when I film has to do, I don't want to get technical. However, what do you guys like better? I'm going to turn it off. Now I'm going to turn it on. I think you can barely see it, right? Turn it off. And turn it on. It just gives a little more light. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to continue filming with it, but perhaps you like it more without and You'll be like, why did you not turn it off? Let's see if I light it, if I turn it down just a tiny bit. I don't think you can tell anything. All right, well, we're gonna continue because this is how I apply this side. So let's continue with that. And then I'll turn it off if you really wanna see it without and that way we all win. <laughs> okay, so let me apply a little bit on this other side. I start putting it there because that's where my dark circles and that's where I really need the most coverage. And then I just spread out and I am putting less I think that other times because I thought I just applied too much and I didn't realize that until I was editing the videos anyways well it was full coverage I mean what do you expect but all right but after I edited I said what would have happened if I had put a little less would it have been able to I'm talking about the full coverage foundations that I have tried I'm thinking, would I have been able to kind of come up with a medium coverage instead? I don't think I could have because full coverage foundation really kind of get on top of your skin. I mean, that's how it covers. So I don't think you can make them medium coverage per se. Maybe if it's like a medium to full. This one is more light to medium. So my sponge is wet. Uh, I like the cooling effect of that, but it is the sponge, not the foundation. And funny, I'm feeling this one uh, applying a little more fuller. I mean, look at that, and then look at that. Like, I like this side better for some reason. I don't know. They both look nice. I mean, it's the same for it's the same foundation. You know what? I think I'm going to take off this bottom light. Does it make a difference? Who knows? I. All right. So that is with the sponge, and this is uh, with the brush. Now I'm gonna put a little bit just because I like the feeling of the wet sponge. I'm hot, so. <laughs> I think it really doesn't matter. I mean, I wouldn't apply this one with my fingers um, just because it is more like the um, old, and I wouldn't say older formulas, but you know, before the application really matter with all the new formulas, you can put it with your hand, especially the skin tints, and it seems to work. So, but this one, I think applicating it with a brush or with a sponge, it is, it will look better. But there you have it. What do you guys think? Hmm, I really like it. So I'm gonna finalize the look with a little bit of, this is becoming my favorite, give um, gloss, just because look how beautiful my lips get color. And then it smells coconut. Uh-huh. Okay, this is the second video that I do it like this. and. And I will stop. <laughs> it's just I love it. It immediately uplifts me. I really, 
I really like this. This is all my love. And I'm, I'm sorry for the ones that are not in the state because this is such a new brand, right? Uh, this is Gwen Stefani brand. Now, I will say this doesn't compare to Chanel or Dior. It, it doesn't feel and look at that level of luxury makeup. So it is $20, so it's not considered that kind of luxury makeup. It's not that expensive. But it, I think it, it is a great, fun, good quality, has a purpose. So I've been really enjoying it. Anyhow. So I think that's about it. What do you guys think? I was going to apply a little bit um, of the rest of my face to finalize the look. However, I'm gonna film a video which is coming out, uh, so please watch it if you're interested, uh, which I'll be talking about the new Tom Ford palette, the, the one that just came out. That's what I'm gonna be doing next. So if you're interested on this, uh, check out the next video. But today I just wanted to be about this um, Chisito. And I really like it. It's natural finish, available in 30 shades, medium buildable coverage. But what I like the best is that it says it has this active force technology which synchronizes with your skin. So we'll see. I will pin uh, my results, but so far it's so comfortable. I don't feel it in my skin. It's not like I feel that it's moisturizing my skin or anything like that, but I do not wear a primer. It looks extremely natural. I wouldn't say it's smoothing my wrinkles per se, but it's not accentuating them or making them anything more. And even though this is not exactly my skin color, I think it, it worked well. And so uh, I think it's a, it's a good foundation. I would recommend it. My next comparison, again, this uh, versus the Forever Dior Glow Foundation, I'm going to have to try it because they seem so similar the way they apply. So perhaps the only difference between the two will be which color matches you better, or we'll see. We'll see how, um, how it wears through the day. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you own this foundation or you know anything about it, please comment down below or anything else you know is welcome. And please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, ring the bell on the right hand side and I'll see you next time. Bye.